freshly crafted. We're going to run over the logs. Everybody has these questions. There's no videos out there for us. So here you go. Run into settings, profiles, turn on logging. You have two different types. You have file logging and GUI logging. And servers, you probably don't want to use GUI logging. You want to use file logging. Files can get overloaded, so you want to make sure that they're not too big and you don't have many, uh, too many problems. We're going to load the world up. You can see we already have GUI logging kicking us out errors. I could give you a hint to your problem right there without even going into the log file. But you can load up the world. Make sure if you're working on an entity and you're having problems with the entity that you spawn the entity into the world. Sorry about the delay here. I've got something going on in the background that's killing the performance. And for some reason, it just having one of those days. So we load up everything and we don't have any errors going. I thought we'd get an error spawned um, right here, but it actually already wrote it to the file. So we fly back and forth, no errors. So we just give up and we'll jump over to the error file and check it out. If this is your first time doing uh, entities and you need help, uh, please check out our other videos on the channel for how to build, animate, glow, transparency, and other stuff, or visit us in the Blockbench tech forum, a support forum under the bedrock side of things. We're doing bedrock. So once you get your log done, you close the game, you jump back to folders, to logs, it's under local state, open up the file in your uh, JSON editor or whatever you're using. Notepad would be fine, but it always sucks to use Notepad for it. Throw it up there and you can see our errors right here. You want to run through the errors? And solve all of them. You're going to get lots of different errors. Render controller errors. You might get uh, JSON errors, con compatibility errors. And this is the place, the log is here to help you out. Make sure you validate your files uh, and check the logs before you ask for support. Those are the two things that you really need to make sure you do. And make sure that all your identifiers match up everywhere. That's the other thing. Those are the three problems uh, typical for your entities not showing up or being invisible. And you can solve that pretty quickly by going through and verifying validation. Check the log files for a hint of what's going on and make sure all your identifiers are correct. Thank you.